Alright, this is part one of a three-part series on how to AV mod your Model 2 Sega Genesis. You will need a couple tools. Pretty easy though. You will need a simple Phillips head screwdriver. You might need desoldering wick, which you can pick up at any local Radio Shack or Fry's Electronics. Some wire. Also you can pick up at Fry's Electronics or Radio Shack. Pretty cheap, around $3.00. Some solder, again, Radio Shack and Fry's Electronics. A soldering iron, which are pretty cheap, anywhere from $20 to $40. I'd pitch in a couple extra dollars and go for a nicer one. And a course, a Sega Genesis. Some old AV ports. I pulled mine out of an old switch box, which you can do whatever, pull it out of a VCR or a DVD player. Now each one of these video segments is going to be probably about three to five minutes. First is disassembly. Flip your Sega Genesis over. Simply enough, there's only four screws. One, two, three, four. Standard Phillips head screws. And you have a uh, do not remove cover and a plastic shield for the Sega CD port over here. Obviously we remove that. After you remove it, flip it back over and lift up. It should release the top section of the Sega Genesis. Next is you have the RF shielding. On the RF shielding, there are several screws lo located around the perimeter of the RF shielding. Remove all and every Phillips head screwdriver, including the two on the cartridge slot. After those are taken out, it should release quite easily. Now you are to the bottom and bare Sega Genesis. There are no more screws removed. There are no more screws to remove, excuse me. So the Sega Genesis should pop out. Being careful not to touch any of the components on the board. Now move the bottom shell part away from it, making sure you don't lose this. Without this, you can actually damage your Sega Genesis because. Um, this actually sits underneath the cartridge slot, so when you put a game in, this actually takes all the force of when you put the game in. So do not lose that. And now we have our Sega Genesis fully taken apart and ready to AV mod and fix the power cable. And any cold solder joints you might notice around the back of the unit. So tune in for part two, and I will start soldering the uh, joints and checking everything out. 